Folks, my name is Robert Harris, and I welcome you to the program, Be the Change. We have stolen that name, and I do say stolen. It's straight from Mahatma Gandhi, the great Mahatma Gandhi. He said, be the change that you want for the world. And so that's what I personally am striving to do. Uh, that's what I wish for you to do. And that's why I bring on the guests that I bring on, because that's what they are striving to do. And with no further ado, I want to introduce you all to my friend, Jimmy Bolden. Jimmy. Thank you so much, my brother and friend, okay, for being brother. here. How are you, man? I'm doing well, man. Yeah. I'm doing well. It's yeah. so glad to have you on the well, show with man, me. You know, it's good to be here. You, you've been threatening this. Yeah, I know. I've been threatening for a long time, yeah. and I finally sucked you in, yeah. didn't I? You know, <laughs> you called got, you on the quick and dirty. Got me. <laughs> got me. Okay. And folks will not be disappointed, and I promise you, man, this is painless. And I also promise you that I'm going to have you back on. See, you sound like me now. <laughs> I'm telling when I'm behind the camera, oh, this is painless. That's it, it's painless. You know, well, you know the routine. Through, and I'm lying through my teeth. You know, <laughs> well, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> you know, and again, that's all I want you to talk about because people don't, many people don't know that that is one, if not your major skill, that you are a professional photographer. Well, yeah, that's what the government says. Yeah, you that's know, what the government says. Taxes, yeah, yeah, I'm taxes, a professional yeah. photographer. Uh, yeah. and, and the fact that you get taxes, and that proves yeah, it, because yeah. the, the goal of the professional is to sell it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And be able to make a living off of it. I've, um, I've been fortunate enough yeah. to be able to, uh, to do that. Uh, so I'm blessed, as mm -hmm. it were. But uh, uh, it's been... Uh, it's it's been an amazing an amazing journey, you know, from from the days back at the Arts Consortium, you know. Yep, you through, remember through, those days. Through, yeah, <laughs> through through the Art Academy and and you know the rest is history, I guess. And 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 and, and, Jimmy, and I want to explore some of that history because you, you were for the longest time. And correct me if I'm wrong in the title, but I know the function is absolutely correct. That you were the primary photographer for City Beat. Photo editor. That photo editor for CD. Yeah, yeah. Great. From uh, about the from, time they started. From the yeah, first day, mm -hmm. from the beginnings, so, uh, 1994. So people was it 94? They, they, yeah, 1994 is when we hit the street. Wow, it's the, been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. Those were good old days. You know, and and it's still going strong. Yeah, yeah. Well, you it know? was. Uh, it had it had a lot of uh, really good people. In there behind them. I mean, not only you know uh, John's still there, John Fox mm -hmm. and Dan, of course, but you had you know uh, uh, Tom Schiff, uh, mm -hmm. Danny Brown. Danny Brown, you know, is the unsung hero. Of, oh yeah, uh, and he's one of those folks that people need to know yeah, about him because he's right. a great guy. I I've had the opportunity mm -hmm. not only of meeting him but really getting to know him, and he's a great guy. And I know he's a good, strong friend of yours for years. As a matter of fact, Danny and I were in junior high school together. Oh, that's wow. how far I know how far back you went back that far. Whoa, yeah. that's a long time. That's no scary. Old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well you, you don't tell. You, 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 you don't, don't tell. I won't tell. <laughs> You don't look at those. See, you know, that's the oh, nice yeah. thing about being, being the artist. You don't look your age. Well, yeah. I am it, and, you know. and, 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 and I feel it. Believe me, sometimes I, my I body, I wake up in the morning, where are you going today? <laughs> and body says, nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> look, I understand. I, yeah. I tell people that uh, I used to, when I was a young man, I just simply jumped out of bed. Mm -hmm. Now I jump out of bed and I realize, no, the body's still lying there. Yeah. I jumped out of bed, but the body's still in that prone <laughs> yeah. position. Yeah. No, 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 don't yeah. move like that. Yeah. You can't make that move. That move hurts. Don't make that move. Yeah, that was the old days. But, you know, <laughs> it's good old days. But yeah. like they say, the good old days are right now. Oh, right now. Yeah. Well, see, I keep telling right. everybody that, uh, that, that, that two things, because I've been, I've been using a wheelchair all my life. Since I was yeah. eight months old, I contracted meningitis. They gave me a for dead, Jimmy, and I... I, I just, by the grace of God, didn't die. And I say several things. One of them is that I'm living my life to the fullest, and one day I will die, because you can't escape this thing. You know, it's just like Vince Gelfman said, mm -hmm. he was always happy and upbeat, very simply. He figured out a long time ago, none of us are getting out of this thing alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and once you realize that, you can relax. 
Because you're going to die and just well, concentrate on that. That's living. what you're doing from the you first know? breath you take. That's it. You know, from it, that it, point it, on, you're, you're dying. You're dying. So I'm just enjoying yeah. my life. And, and, and some days I feel pains that I didn't have before. But guess what? That just proves I'm alive. Oh, but you're kicking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on this side of the dirt, man. I'm doing all right. Kicking. <laughs> all right. right. I'm going to keep on kicking, too. Yeah, yeah that's what counts. <laughs> because see that coffin move around a little bit. And they know to open it up and let me out. Because mm -hmm. I am very much kicking. And that's also what I want to talk about. The kicking in this life. We need to push in this life. I wasn't joking when I said be the change. And I know that, that, that right now um, the gallery is under the auspices of Silo. And I'm happy to say that I helped start this organization and I'm now working part time for it. A long time ago, we, it started out being called TLC, Total Living Concepts. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. it's Silo, Center for Independent Living Options. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a great job. Yes, we yes. really are doing a great job. S Silo is probably one of the best kept secrets in town when it comes mm -hmm. to uh, what you call social service agencies. Mm -hmm. um, they've got a 32 year history um, that uh, originated from a couple of people who came here with the independent living option uh, philosophy from Berkeley, California. And uh, they've been going strong since. And, you know, like I said, you know, for that long, and people still don't know silo, and they just quietly go about uh, helping people. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, so, How many people be the change in their own lives? Exactly. And I think that's the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. And, you know? and I've become involved with the with Silo in the last four years. I began in a voluntary capacity mm -hmm. as a curator for the first Art Beyond Boundaries exhibits mm -hmm. when we were on Seventh Street. Right. I remember that. Yeah. Like, the very yeah. first show. I remember mm -hmm. that. And. Um, after after buying this the, the space that we now occupy uh, on Main Street 1410 Main uh, is when I became uh, I guess a permanent fixture <laughs> and I'm glad you did because yeah. you you helped to carry that place to where it it is going. It's already gone and done some great things, but it's got a lot more greatness to achieve. Well, thank you. And, and, uh, thank it's, it's, you know, I say it because it's true, man, and I say it because I, I, I see how it has helped a lot of people, including me. And I have also seen the growth of some of the artists. And, and, and the artists there are artists who have disabilities, who want to be can be, should be, and are in the mainstream, mm -hmm. you know, of, of the production of art. And, and that, to me, is, is that message that it needs to continuously uh, press and promote because it is art beyond boundaries. Removing those artificial boundaries, and disability is an artificial boundary. And barriers, you know, and, right, barriers and barriers, both uh, physical as well as that attitudinal as it states in our mission. And let me add to that whole growth piece that mm -hmm. you just uh, alluded to uh, about the artist growing and let the people know that I'm really gratified in the growth that I've seen in your work. You <laughs> well, know, and, you. And, and you and I go back, whoa. We go back a bit, don't we? <laughs> dec decades, you know. Decades, right. and, in, decades. And, and, and in this and then in this period that we've had the opportunity to, to do what we're doing there with uh, Art Beyond Boundaries with the gallery, uh, you, 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 the expansion of, and, 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 and of your work and, and, and oh, the, the strength, the, the expression, it, it's, uh, it's a wonderful, well, I, I it's you, a it's, wonderful thing. I feel thing. myself growing, I it's really It's a do. wonderful thing. And, and I want to see that for other people yeah. as well. So I want well, to make there, sure. There, there yeah. are a, uh, 
Well, there's quite a number of other oh, I've people. Seen them. I've yeah. seen them, and I've seen them growing. Who, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm yes. saying. That's why I'm happy yeah. not just for me, but I'm happy yes, for all of, all the folks that I see there. Yes, indeed. You know, Jimmy, give us the, we're going to repeat this number as often as we can. Okay. You know, uh, first of all, I'm just going to say the number for SILO, Center for Independent Living Options, is 241-2600. 241 that's, that's correct. And speaking of SILO, uh, they are to be congratulated because they just moved into a brand, brand new, new building. Well, brand, it's not a brand new building, but it's a brand new home. Yeah, and I they've had it. this building redone. And the address is 2031 Auburn Avenue, I believe, right? And um, the telephone number, again, 241-2600. If you have the occasion to need their services, uh, give them a call. And if you know of the Center for Independent Living Options and you want to see a, a wonderful <coughs> new facility, uh, give them a visit. You know. Yeah, because it, it, it's a nice place. Yes, it, it's it is. It really is a nice place. Yeah. I call it new just simply because I know that it's remodeled and it's oh, new yeah. for us. Yeah, well, you it's know, it's, for us. it's a brand new, uh, well, that, that, it's they, nothing like they, whatever it they, was. They gutted it. the place. Yes. So it's a brand new space. Yes. Yeah, it's a brand new space. Yeah. And give us the number because Silo can give it to you, but, but if they want to call the gallery directly, what's the number? Oh, uh, the, the gallery house? is 421 8726, and we're located 1410 Main. I, 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 I affectionately refer to uh, us as. The light at the top of Main Street. That's that's our <laughs> Beyond Boundaries Gallery. Yeah, you, know. you know, and that, that's a, that's a that's a neat spot. It really is. And that that gallery, we've had a lot of help from a lot of people. We've got some theater angels, some art angels. Yes, yes. You know, uh, if you want to mention how you, you oh, the know, list stuff. goes on. I'd have to start with uh, and 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 I for I don't want to embarrass anyone yeah, I, you I know understand. but you know the, the, these people deserve mm -hmm. you know some recognition and I'm going to do it and if you get mad at me Melody <laughs> <laughs> just get mad <laughs> yeah <laughs> Melody Sawyer Richardson's yes. been a wonderful friend of She's ours been a great great angel uh, Tom Schiff mm -hmm. um, Tom Shaw Jim King Mark and Rosemary Schlachter We've had some help from the city of Cincinnati. Now, the city of Cincinnati, yes, the city of Cincinnati. Thank you. As a matter of fact, we are just finishing a uh, a little uh, I call it a facelift mm -hmm. over at the gallery. We've uh, come up, come over and see. We are looking fresh, and I call <laughs> it. We we are in our um, our Soho period. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. So come over and and, and see what we're doing. Um, Again, 1410 Main, 421-8726. And the website? The website, artbeyondboundaries.com. All right. www.artbeyondboundaries.com. Jimmy, we're going to take a break in just about three seconds, but would you hold up a piece of work, because when we come back, we want people to see some of the work that is at Art Beyond Boundaries. So just hold up any piece. It doesn't well, uh, it, we, ha we, we have a, a whole variety and, and range of, of things that... Uh, kind of tip it down at the top. Yeah, of the you, can, you can find at Art Beyond Boundaries Gallery. This, for instance, is... Um, it's a, uh, it looks like a woodcut print from, uh, made by, uh, done by uh, uh, Ruth Perlman. We've, we've got an extensive collection of Ruth Perlman's artwork, uh, courtesy. Ruth Perlman had a big uh, connection with the Cincinnati Art Academy. Well. Yes, yes she did, bless her soul. May yeah. she rest in peace. May she rest in peace. Folks, we're gonna be back, and we're gonna show you some more about Ruth Perlman and we're gonna talk some more about the art that is in Art Beyond Boundaries Gallery. Be the change that you want for the world. Be the change, we'll be right back.
Welcome back. The show is Be the Change. My name is Robert Harris. I am your host. My guest is Jimmy Bolden, who is the uh, director and curator for the Art Beyond Boundaries Gallery. You know, and Jimmy, just as I was, uh, uh, just as we were closing out, and we had mentioned that you've got an extensive amount of work by a woman whose name was uh, Ruth Perlman. And you were going to say um, that how we got that work. Well, Ru Ruth, Ruth Perlman, again, is uh, another one of those uh, Cincinnati secrets. And she's a jewel in the, in the, in the art crown here. Um, she lived to be 93 years old, and some 30 years ago, she was diagnosed as uh, with 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 macular degeneration. Mm -hmm. But throughout she was going blind throughout that 30-year period of, of of suffering with this with this ailment, she continued to teach, <laughs> paint, mm -hmm. and uh, and 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 just it create was, yes, create yes, art. Yes. And, uh, this lady, at the age of 16, went to the Art Academy and never left. <laughs> Lived to be 93. See, I knew she was there a long time, but I didn't yes. realize it was that long. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and I met, that's where I met her, mm -hmm. when I was at the Art Academy years ago. Well, she was, uh, I mentioned before that we, used to have a space on 7th Street and Ruth was 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 a very integral part of those early days of of exhibiting uh, in that space you know for Art Beyond Boundaries Gallery and she was really excited about the move that we were going to make and um, three days before we opened she was admitted into the hospital with mm. pneumonia, and she uh, she died the day before we opened. And it was really, you know, something that uh, one of those kind of moments that you just don't think you're going to get over. Mm. But to honor her, uh, we dedicated our first solo exhibit to Ruth Perlman and her work. Uh, as an artist. It was a very good show too. Right, and it, it was made possible by uh, her, the donation, the very generous donation that her son Mike uh, made to us of uh, an extensive collection of her uh, paintings, drawings, and some sculpture. Mm -hmm. And um, to this day, uh, the largest part of our private collection uh, consists of Ruth Perlman pieces. Yeah. Mm, that's great. Yes, yes. That is great. Yeah. And, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those, those beautiful stories that comes out of, of Art Beyond Boundaries Gallery and the whole concept of, of what we're trying to do. And it's not an idea of segregating people is really helping people to to get into that mainstream and be recognized and to to get other opportunities and to really create some equity uh, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to create mm -hmm. some parity well, you know that's that's the intent of what we we are doing here uh, hopefully for those who have that desire to move into the mainstream art community. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do that by removing some of the, the barriers that artists with disabilities face that people don't really think of as, as, as inhibiting factors, such as uh, uh, gallery fees and mm -hmm. exhibition fees and, 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 and the necessity to, to present uh, slides and, and CDs, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing of their work, which, which is an expense that, you know, uh, other people just sort of take for granted. Mm -hmm. But on a fixed income in a lot of issues, a lot of cases, mm -hmm. uh, that becomes, you know, a hardship. 
So we dispense with that. But yet, in the same time, uh, doing everything that we can to make that whole experience a real world experience. Mm -hmm. uh, deadlines, craft issues especially, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, people sort of expect that if an artist has a disability that their work is, it's okay for it to be less than, you know, crisp and, and, and clean, for instance. Oh, like, mean, a, like, a, like a clean mat, you know. I need to slow you a little because we're, we're running out of time. Just like a clean mat, I need yeah. you to hold up some more artwork. Well, and we're going to be ready to close out because I want people to get a, a hint of Speaking of the, the kind of craft, Ooh, yes. here's a, a, a photo done by one of our uh, uh, very, cool. very wonderful photographers, Paul Miles. And he does uh, extraordinary um, wildlife things and uh, design photo. And can you give, give us another one real quick so we, we, we get ready to close up. But that, that's, that's a beautiful shot. Um, that's a beautiful shot. <laughs> well, here's, here's one of our uh, other, uh, it's a narrative. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's perfect. There. That's the Harlem uh, Hospital there in the background. And uh, you got Jesus Saves and McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That is nice. These are all. Oh, so is the bag. The, one of my favorite artists that is down the, there, and one of my favorite human beings is Barbara Gamboa, and I know that this is one of her. This is one of her creations. This is a bag. This is actually a bag, and uh -huh. this is the artwork, Barbara Gamboa's artwork that she put on the tote bag. Here, I'll see. Is that as, as you fashionably display that yes. and how we can carry yeah. it right whenever you want to. I bought, I bought the art. In, in, <laughs> That's right, you brought in, the art in, in that bag. In yeah. bag. <laughs> so it's very functional yes. as well as decorative and, and it's, a, it's a wonderful fine art piece. Barbara is probably one of uh, our artists of whom I'm most proud. Well, me too. Uh, she's a true Renaissance woman, I'm telling you. Truly. <laughs> she's gone on now to uh, to 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 curate her own shows and and, and, and exhibits, meaningful exhibits in uh, other community arts mm -hmm. centers, et cetera. Barbara's just a fan. And she takes people with her. She's taken yes. me with her to several different yes, yes. different heights in terms of She's her shows. She's fantastic, yeah. fantastic. A great talent and a great yes. human being. Yes, yes. Um, some of the other things that we have available at the at, at Art Beyond Boundaries are are Besides the art, but our, our, we have various things in our arts gifts section because the holidays are coming up and people are looking for, you know, little gift things that they can, you know, stocking stuffers. <laughs> Let's see. This, see these, this is a card uh, that's done by Ro Rosetta Allison. And she has a series of these greeting cards that are... Uh, and Rosetta is mm -hmm. one of the, our, our, our mm -hmm. older folks as yes, well. She is, yes, she is. Yes, she's a former school teacher, I mm -hmm. think, and, and some other fascinating things. things that she does. This is this is a set of uh, note cards, also done by another one of our artists, uh, Glenn Scherf. Can you uh, the detail in that? Mm -hmm. And we spoke of. Uh, Ruth Perlman and her range. This is some of, this is a reproduction of one of her pieces. That's great too. I would have never recognized that though as a Ruth Perlman, and that's yes, great. Yes, yes. Because I like the ex experimentation myself. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. This shows the, 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 the width and breadth of, because she's known for uh, what, what I found to be her strongest suit mm -hmm. are her line drawings, which mm -hmm. are 
Oh yeah, because I, I love those. Yeah, I, love I know. Black myself. <laughs> yeah, and I and I and, and I can, well, thank I, you can see, <laughs> I can see I can see the Ruth Perlman influence in in, in your work. You know, uh, she's a great lady. Let me tell you, she was a great lady. I think lady. that's that's about and, and lives all. Forever. That's about all I brought that are examples of, except for this. Now this is this is Father James Hassey. Let's see if I can get this. He is an excellent draftsman. This is mm -hmm. a a print of a a larger acrylic piece that. Um, James Hassey painted and he has a series of these prints that he offered uh, in, in our gift section for uh, just $35 a piece so if you know those these little items that, that I've held up here are the kinds of things that if in the event you know your budget doesn't allow <laughs> you to you know to actually you know, collect a piece right, of art, uh, original art off the walls. So you can, uh, you can support you up there some the, 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 the gallery as yeah. well as uh, uh, present to your friends, family, whoever, you know, some, some wonderful gifts uh, that are, are original art. And Jimmy, I tell you, the, 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 the fact of original art to me is, is so important and yeah. the fact of, of having local artists. Yeah. Is, is so important. The disability stuff is not all that important, but the, but the artists themselves are. Can you tell us, what are some of the things you've got planned for the future? We've got maybe like a minute and a half. Can you tell us where you want to go? Can you tell us what the vision is for the future? Well, one of the big things on Art Beyond Boundaries Horizon is a, um, an off-site show that's going to be, uh, that's going to take place at the Drake Foundation, at the Drake Center campus mm -hmm. uh, in the spring of 2010. Okay, terrific. Um, last year, we did our first off-site exhibit mm -hmm. at Drake uh, in October to celebrate uh, the National Disabilities Employment Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And it was to run for the month of October in celebration of that, mm -hmm. but it was received so well that they asked us to extend that into December. <laughs> and then after that, they contacted us and said, well, would you be interested in doing something just because? And I said, well, of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so it's going to, like I said, that's going to be, we're, we're, we're really excited about that, uh, you know, that series of exhibits uh, scheduled to begin in 2010. Other than that, it's business at you, as usual at the Art Academy, at uh, Art Beyond Boundaries. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, I guess, on the average, we schedule about five shows a year. Jimmy, and, uh, we're out of time. Okay. I've got to say thank you once again. All Come right. back again. All right. Folks, be the change that you want for the world. You have the power. Just do it. All right. Jimmy, thanks. Thanks, Rob. All right. All right.